Hey, what's going on guys? And today we're going to be doing another Seven Deadly Sins episode or video. Uh, and today we're going to be going over playing on the PC, whereas uh, I know it's an actual mobile game and you might be playing on your phone, but there are a lot of benefits to playing on the PC just because uh, the biggest for me tends to be uh, battery life and just I don't like my phone getting really hot and the seven deadly sins with the graphics and everything like that it just it definitely like pushes your phone um, and it really can just kind of like get you know a little a little battery you know I don't know what to say here I don't know what I'm trying to say like it it drains your battery a lot that's what I'm trying to say but yeah, so I use BlueStacks. It's just a like a pretty much an Android phone emulator. Um, it's super simple. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description on where to get it if you need to. But you literally just get on here and you can go to the Google App Store and download Seven Deadly Sins, and uh, you can just you know install it and everything and pretty much start playing right away. Uh, other than that, I know a lot of people are super interested in the whole, uh, like, how to play the game in the full screen mode, because, you know, you've probably seen other people have been playing the game in full screen, and it kind of stretches it out and makes it look really nice. So, the, uh, pretty much all you have to do for that is, because the game doesn't actually run at an aspect ratio or a resolution that really supports that sort of style, uh, it won't let you just rotate the phone, because this, this, uh, the app, or the the application BlueStacks actually has a little button over here to the right you can see right there where it'll actually flip the game around uh, if I open up seven deadly sins it'll actually you can see uh, that it'll just flip my resolution around a little bit like if I do this it just moves it to the side um, so that's not what you want you actually have to download a third-party app where you can go into it and you can start the service and it'll let you it'll it, this application pretty much just makes it to where um, it forces the game to run or to swap to the other side and then readjust the resolution and everything so you can you can literally just go on the Google App Store and like just you know look for any sort of screen rotation software or anything like that this one's called screen uh, control screen orientation I like it because you can actually get it to start uh, on reboot so as soon as you start up blue stacks and everything it'll kind of like you know start working on like making this program run in the background so that way when you go over to your seven deadly sins which uh, I might have to I'm just gonna close it and reopen it cuz yeah, it's fine it's not a huge deal sometimes it does that but if I open the game and everything uh, you, it'll actually you see that when I change it you can see the resolution changes and it actually rotates mine won't do full screen because I actually have mine set at a custom resolution um, because I'm not the more that I play on it the more I'm not really into the whole full screen thing uh, I kind of want it to be sort of a little bit wider than the normal phone resolution would be so normally it would cut off around here like on the sides and everything so uh, just to give it a little bit more room so you can see a little bit more and it's everything's not so smushed together I, I wanted it to be a little bit you know a little bit wider than the regular phone resolution but nothing too crazy so I actually set mine as a custom resolution I originally set it to a thousand by 900 but um, if you if you give it a lot more pixels with the same aspect ratio it's gonna look a lot better I noticed my brother was actually telling me that when he was watching some of my uh, recent videos that I was doing on it you could you could kind of see that the game was really pixelated and stuff in certain sections uh, and that was mainly because I was running it at a lower resolution and it was you know obviously if there's a lower resolution there's a lot less pixels for it to you know work with so it makes everything a little bit more pixelated so if you just increase your resolution it's gonna make the game look a ton better and everything setting your DPI a little bit higher is gonna help as well um, obviously though if you do it at a custom resolution like this like this one's so close to the same number almost it's almost a square uh, that you're not gonna be able to do the whole full screen mode here so if you want to do just full screen make sure you're staying on landscape or portrait mode uh, and then it'll let you rotate to do that um, my other settings aren't really all that important the only ones I would watch out for is make sure that your performance is on high 
if you can if your computer supports that like if you have four C, uh, four CPU cores and everything I would definitely recommend doing that because it'll make the game run a lot smoother uh, make sure that you have enable high frame rates on so that way you can you know the game will run a lot smoother as far as the FPS goes and everything and it just all together it combines to make a really nice like seamless experience so the one thing that is kind of weird about playing on the computer is there are certain animations that are going to be a little bit messed up. Uh, the most noticeable one that I have ever seen is with Green Elizabeth. Uh, if you actually go to use her ultimate, if it'll load in here for a second, um, you'll notice that if we turn on ultimate animations and use her ultimate, with uh, when Hawk actually starts running towards the screen, uh, you can see kind of like behind the uh, the thing a little bit there. Uh, you might actually be able to see it a little bit better if I do if I screen rotate because I think it makes it just a tad bit wider. So if I use this, you'll 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 be able to see behind the like actual back to it. Yeah, you can see behind the little like card thing that pops up there. Originally, like because the resolution isn't supposed to go this wide. Um, it kind of you it it makes some weird like uh, like sort of like stuff happen where you can see stuff that you shouldn't really be able to see during certain animations or like you'll notice that like maybe there's some smoke on the screen or whatever and it just stops like it stops at a certain point of the screen because it's, it doesn't think that you're gonna be able to see that far to the side of it um, so there's just some weird like little visual bugs but it's not really like anything that the game developers are worried about because you know the game's not really meant to run at a higher resolution like this anyway like they didn't intend for it to because they expect you to be playing on a phone so just notice or just note that there are some kind of like weird little things like that but altogether the game really does look a lot better on the pc and it definitely saves me a lot of battery life and stuff if i'm just playing on here because you know the game is kind of designed to like farm overnight and like there's you know, you can just let the game afk and play itself a little bit in certain stages and sort of, uh, sort of stuff like that to really like grind out materials and etc so uh, it definitely helps to do that on the PC. So, anyways, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Uh, hopefully, we'll come out with something uh, a little bit more interesting uh, in the future. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, Seven Deadly Sins content in the future because I'm actually really enjoying the game right now. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of the first mobile game I've ever really done a lot more content on. So, thanks so much for watching. And uh, it's 3 a.m., so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs>